Hey there Scorpio, welcome to weekly tarot reading for April 3rd through to the 9th. Let's see what may be on the cards for you. So Scorpio, I am jumping straight on in and your first energy is strength. Spirit wants you to know that you are stronger than what you feel right now and that you really can unlock this potential within yourself, okay? So maybe you're needing to overcome um, a sense of pride here or worrying what other people think, but this is a real energy of courage, okay? And listening to the higher self, let's see what this is all about. It is Leo energy, you might be dealing with a Leo. I've got the Knight of Swords. It feels like you're wanting to move forward with something, maybe towards somebody, maybe towards a new opportunity here. The Knight of Swords is about a quantum leap and fast progress, but sometimes there's a communication that may need to, to happen in order to get that started. It is the energy of Gemini for me. All right, let's get one more of these. We've got the Six of Swords. Yeah, so you are definitely in a transition period and either wanting to move away from something, like move on or move towards. But at the moment you're in that transition and you're trying to get up the strength and courage to maybe deliver that message, to maybe set sail here. It is usually with a little bit of a heavy heart here. So even if you're trying to move towards uh, something new here, it feels like there's someone or something to leave behind here. But it has been causing you, you know, some amount of emotional turmoil here. And you know that your peace, your smoother sailing is ahead. So you're trying to get the clarity on, you know, how to deliver that message or how to, to start that process. Let's take a look and see. Let's see what the rest of the story is. So I'm going to get your nine cards out now, Scorpio. But if you would like a personal reading or healing, please do follow the link below to my website to check those out. And grab my free uh, tarot quick guide to start reading the cards for yourself if you'd like to learn more about that. Uh, my paid offering is the initiation where I teach a full foundation in tarot, as well as my signature process. I'll link that for you also. And follow me on Instagram for daily readings and I do pull cards for followers from time to time. You'll need to be there when I put the shout out. Please look for the account with the blue tick. That is uh, my official account. Okay, let's get the cards out. See you in just a moment. Okay, Scorpio, these are your cards. Decisions, decisions are here. Life-changing decisions. Your major arcana, death at the bottom of the deck. In order to move forward, I feel like there's something to let go. Might be shedding a former skin or identity. Might be leaving behind a sense of home family, a relationship, a workplace. That is what I see here. But your destiny can change by what you decide right now. And I think you're seeking the clarity to move forward, okay? So I think that for many of you, the Page of Cups has showed up. If not, it feels like it's coming. And this is some kind of synchronistic catalyst to move you when maybe it was about time that you moved on from the situation. This can look like a new person entering your life or somebody with a new offer or opportunity. They are offering you the Ace of Cups. And we see that in the heart of the reading, the Queen of Cups is nurturing that. So the Ace of Cups is an emotional new beginning. If this is in work career, it could be a job that you can fall in love with that gives you energy, fills you up. If this is in romance, this feels like a soul connection, okay? Something quite beautiful. Now the thing about the Page of Cups is that it can come unexpectedly and also it can really take you in a new direction and sometimes that direction is something that we didn't really see for ourselves or this might have come in a different package. It might be someone younger, less established, who lives in a different place or a work career. This could be a startup company that, you know, doesn't have the stability and security, but it's exciting. It's creative. It can be an, some kind of, you know, beautiful new start here. 
that you know maybe you didn't know that you wanted until it showed up so there's an element of expect the unexpected there's an element of surprise here and there's also just a really big decision to make two of pentacles and four of swords so you're going to be making this decision here and i think you need to expect that you could feel quite ungrounded while you're making that decision because it involves a three of swords a severing of ties or disappointing somebody here you know the the three of swords can be the heartbreak energy and even though you're the one in control of this uh here scorpio or scorpio or i feel you will be it's still hard for you it's still hard for you you still have a certain amount of investment in this situation so spirit saying take time to make this decision take a pause you know whether it's just you know a few hours on your own or doing something that you really enjoy you know it puts you in a flow state so that you can allow the intuition the clarity to come through for you because i think the high priestess is going to deliver and show you the way so you might get a sign or you might get a really strong gut feeling and that is your sign and from there you'll be able to make a plan to move forward that will be your breakthrough okay um, the high priestess is interesting because she can be the revealer of truth in just the right time she's also keeping quiet on this and saying I'm not going to tell you the full outcome of this new direction okay because actually stepping onto the path is part of the journey but what she will tell you is that it's fertile with growth see the pomegranates on the screen there it's like there is growth here there is potential here will there be challenges along the way absolutely because our situations are our teachers but she's beckoning you to step through the gateway because it feels that what this page of cups is offering you is that ace, ace of cups it's not any old cup it's a beautiful gilded cup that you can focus on and if you put your energy into this and invest in it and do the work to follow it then it can grow and expand and one cup ace of cups can become the ten of cups a blessed best life where we're happy and you know living where we want with who we want with our resource needs met so it feels like this is part of that process for you Queen of Cups is the energy of Cancer for me and it's also the energy of intuition and heart and feeling. So it's really asking you to feel into this. It's not a, just a head decision, it's got to be a heart decision as well, hence the Strength card, the card of Leo coming through. And stay grounded and use your emotional intelligence. Try not to get swept away by the emotional aspect but instead really feel into the situation and how it will serve you emotionally in the future. The Wheel of Fortune Scorpio says that this is destined for you in this time and there is a change here coming through for your life. The Wheel of Fortune is not usually a subtle change. It can be, as I mentioned, a big directional shift here where we really meet our fate or meet our destiny, where our fortune changes in some way. But keeping in mind the Wheel of Fortune is a number 10, it requires us to end a cycle, to release something or let something go, that although it's hard and it hurts, we're getting clear that there isn't the growth that we want here anymore, or, or it's had its time. And the High Priestess is saying that the new direction is where that real fertile potential really lies. What you will need to deal with though, is the four of pentacles is your fear you know of letting go the fear of the release the fear of you know exposing your heart maybe of being vulnerable of stepping into the unknown also there's a message here of deservingness and knowing your value and worth and you know playing big now rather than really keeping yourself in a situation that this might not be delivering what you'd wanted so it feels like we need to give up to gain here but i just feel scorpio that you'll be happy you did this is a real energy of happiness and joy 
and celebrating. I think you will celebrate this and you'll be celebrating new growth. The Three of Cups is about celebrating the harvest. It is about the moves that you make that in the next season, that could be in a few months, it could be this time next year, that you'll celebrate you know what you have grown what you have moved towards and happier times here as well so that's a beautiful omen of saying that you know there is new creation there for you uh, on the new path but at the moment you need to move through the transition okay Scorpio well let's grab you some sacred creators cards to close this out what do we have please for Scorpio sacred mirrors okay now this could be a situation where you're really, you know, looking into mirrors here. Often people around us will be our mirrors and can trigger us in some way. Maybe there is truth being mirrored back to you here. You know, maybe you need to reflect on something here. So we've got sacred mirrors coming through. Interesting. All right. What else? The sacred flow of yes so a lot of sacred energy here and I was just thinking about that mirror for a moment you know mirrors can reflect truth but if we use mirrors in certain ways we can also create illusions so just make sure that you are looking you know with the clarity sacred flow of yes really asks you to move in the direction that you feel is in flow for you where you know you're not having to really push or fight it feels like the universal current wants to take you in a new direction here but you will need to say yes to the wheel of fortune i just feel that it's moving anyway and that you will be carried with it that's what i have for you scorpio i hope you enjoyed this message i hope it gave you some clarity guidance and insight i am here cheering you on and wishing you so much love and magic do take care bye for now